Hello and welcome. In this video, we will get an overview of the Rental Inventory and Sales Manager Excel template and we will also take a quick demo of the template itself. If you are in rental business, where for example you rent assets or products to your customers for a specific duration and charge them for that rental, then this template will be of use to you. The specific model where this template is built around is where you own a set of assets and you rent them to your customers and then the customers would return them to you to your inventory. So this template is applicable for such a business model. Some of the benefits of having this Excel template is that you can manage all your inventory of all the assets in, in a rental business like this and you can determine the availability of each asset at any given point of time. You can know the current availability. You can also any future availability as well. All the active and retired assets that you may have in your company can be tracked and maintained in one place. You can also create invoices that you can provide to your customers all from this Excel template. While creating invoices, you can also apply discounts. And in addition to the invoicing capability, there is also inbuilt tracking of sales over time so that you can understand the sales patterns of your business. You can understand how the different types of assets are contributing to sales. And you can also easily retrieve any specific order details because all the orders are stored in one place. It's easy to view or retrieve any specific orders that you've had. So now let's take a quick look at the template itself. So this is how the template looks. I have opened the template. There is some sample data entered already in this template, but when you get your own copy, uh, it will not have any information and you can start typing your own information and uh, work with the template. So this template begins with the setting sheet where you can enter your basic information about your business. Uh, this information will be used to display in the invoice later. And we have the assets sheet which is where you would list your assets or products and we have asset id asset name you can also categorize your assets in this sample data i'm using cameras and uh, i have categorized them as compact versus dslr and even further i can have a sub categorization where i have used the name of the manufacturer again in your business you can categorize and sub categorize according to your business needs then we have the date activated. So this is the date and time when the asset became available. And this is the date when the asset was retired. This is helpful because sometimes you, when you get, when you add a new asset to your business, uh, to portfolio, then you can just add a new row here and say this um, specific asset was activated on this day. So the template will now use it to estimate availability so or calculate availability so that's where the date activated and date retired play a role if you have an asset that has become old enough and it's not something that you want to rent anymore you can just put the date retired um, and then the template will not consider the availability of that specific asset after the date retired and this template can support tax calculations so you can put in a tax rate at each product level and then the template will be able to use that for calculations. We have a couple of optional columns so in this case I've used the optional column to store the location of my uh, specific assets and you can use these custom columns however you would like and these three are calculated fields where this is a calculation that provides you specifically whether uh, an asset is active or has it been retired this is the current availability so these two fields are very very um, critical part of this template because it can provide you the availability of any specific asset right now so as now availability now as of june 25th 6 31 a.m is this specific um, asset has been rented so the asset ES30 is rented, so it's not currently available for you to rent. So, but the next asset ES25 is available. So how does this template know? It is using the information about 
the orders that have we have already entered which we will see in a short uh, brief while so we have entered some orders already in this template so the template actually goes and finds hey is there any specific order for renting this specific asset and then it finds uh, it, it provides information whether it's available or rented so this is very very helpful for you to know if uh, which assets are currently available and which assets are not so for example I want to know if I have any assets available within the compact category I filter here and I'm looking at all the compact categories and I see which ones are rented and which ones are available similarly if I'm only interested in for example Samsung compact cameras now I can see I have two available ES70 and ES73 so this is how easy it is to know which assets are currently available and you can also easily narrow down to a subset of your assets that you're interested in so very helpful and the last p column here is availability as of a specific date for example I can type in I want to know as of June 28 9 o'clock in the morning so let me pull 9 o'clock I want to know the availability once I enter this information I go to the data ribbon hit refresh and now I have the calculation ready so it will tell me if my specific assets are retired or available or rented multiple on that specific date and time June 28th that's in the future so it's very easy to know even the future availability of an asset in this template and this helps you to uh, plan your rental for the future if you receive an order from a customer for a future rental you would just check the availability here and then if it's available then you would you would rent them so that's how easy it is simple enough to know the availability and um, also narrow down to your specific assets that you're interested in you can also filter to one specific asset at any given point of time by just using the inbuilt search functionality and then you can um, select only those and see which ones are available and which ones are not so it's a very very simple structure easy to use so now in addition to asset management you can also manage customers in the customers sheet where you can type in this information about addresses for the customers email phone number you can also create your own two additional columns if you want a third additional column it's also very simple you just type in a new name whatever that name uh, might be and hit enter there you go so you have a new column so modifying or extending this template is very very easy the orders sheet is where you would enter orders so here I've entered seven different orders so one row for each order and then the date when the order was placed which customer actually um, requested that order and you you see that there is a drop down menu so that the data entry is better and the status basically we have two status possibilities when you the order is booked you put it as booked and if it's cancelled then you would change it to cancelled when you change as cancelled then that rental um, products that, that were supposed to be rented as part of that order will not um, be rented so the products will be available for uh, renting for some other order you can also type in your comments for the orders these comments will appear in the invoice order details so this is basically where you might spend most of your time as you enter new orders you can for example see first order order number one we have these five different assets have been rented and you can see that they all have the same from and to date but that is not a requirement so for example only this specific asset it is supposed to come back at 11 a.m. and this is supposed to come back on July 8th you can definitely put them in um, within the same order you have the flexibility for different products um, returning at different time or also even starting on different times so the template is very flexible and then you can enter the price for each of the asset for renting and you can also add discounts if you want to give any discounts to your customers so then all these green colored columns are actually calculated so please do not modify them the net price is calculated for you taking into account the price and the discount 
and the amount with tax is also calculated for you. If you remember, we entered the tax rate at the beginning in the asset sheet. The template will take that into account. You, um, and again, all these other columns are calculated. You don't need to change anything there. They are used for um, reporting purposes. Adding new order details is also very easy. For example, in order number seven, if I have another product in that order, then I can just choose it and I can type in a specific date and time when the asset will leave and then return and then type in the price and discount, then it automatically gets added to that order. So it's very easy to add new line items and you can also use the drop down menu to choose the right asset. So it's very, very easy. Now let's look at the how the invoice works. Go to the invoice sheet and this is the invoice. So if I type in a new order number, you can see that the invoice got updated and the invoice is easy to print. It's already set up for printing. You can also export it as a PDF from here and you can email it to your customers if needed. So you, in addition to the basic invoice, you also have some customization options. So if you use discounts, you can choose yes and then the discount column will appear here. If you want to use some of the asset additional asset information that we created so we can for example say yes and this would actually create the location information as a column and so again you can control this custom by going to the assets and instead of location if you want to call this differently or if you want to enter some other information here that's fine the invoice can pull that information and show so it's very simple and if I don't want this field and I say no, it goes away. Custom column for customer information. So you guys notice that the customer column, custom column in the customer sheet, for example, if I want to use this for tracking, um, I don't know, the country of that specific um, customer. So let's say I type in customer, then I go into the invoice. And I, now I see that country is here. So if I want to show country, and there you go. Now you have country uh, displayed as a customer information. And if I don't want it, I can just say no, it disappears. So very simple, it calculates the discount. I mean, it puts the discount in there, calculates the net price, shows the tax and the amount with the tax. tax and then you have the customer information over here. At the bottom, you have the total uh, amounts. You also have the comment that we displayed uh, or entered in the orders tab that also comes over. So it's a very, very easy to customize invoice. The business information here at the top comes from the settings that where we provided that information. So everything is seamless. So easy to create invoices and you can just change your order number at any given point of time and the invoice can be printed. Finally, we also have sales report which is again easy to use if i want to understand how my compact category is done by sales by month i can look at it i can look at a dslr i can also look at all of them together i can look at specific asset sales specific customers or subcategories we also see the how the different um, specific categories and subcategories are contributing so within compact I see the sales amount for Canon Nikon separately so I can compare them. And also, it, there is a top 10 asset. So overall, which assets are having the most amount of sales? And I can, let's say for example, within Canon, I wanna see what the top ones are and now I can see it. So it's very, very easy to use, reporting, simple and um, actionable. And so that's built in. So that is all the information that this template has. Just to recap, in the setting sheet, you would enter your business information. Assets is where you maintain your list of assets and also check for availability, for current availability or future availability. You can check them here. You can use the customer sheet to track your customers, orders and comments for orders. And then order details is where you enter line items for each order. You can print or export to PDF your invoice here, and you can monitor your sales trends of your business. 
So all of this is within this um, simple Excel template. This template is available from inzara.com. If there are any questions about this template, please leave me a comment at inzara.com or email me at inzara at gmail.com. I will also provide a link to the specific template in the video description on YouTube. So please take a look at it and let me know if there are any questions. Thank you very much.